Hello everyone, welcome back to Unite Coaching. You have clicked on this video, it means somewhere you think that civil engineers are jobless and you want to know a solution for getting a good job in civil engineering industry. So don't worry, you are at the right place. In this video, I am going to tell you the bitter truth of civil engineering. Why civil engineering freshers are not getting a good job? What are the various fields of civil engineering that you can make a good career in? And I will also tell you what skill set is required for the particular job or post and the path which you can adopt to get a good civil engineering job. So the topics which will be discussed in these videos are first the bitter truth about the civil engineering. I will discuss some of the facts that what are the percentages of civil engineers that are unemployed. Next thing is where you are lacking in this race. Then. Many students don't even know in which particular field they can master their skills and make a good career. So I will tell you what are the various fields to make a good career in and I will also tell you what particular skill sets are required for that particular field. And at the last I will show you some tricks or I will show you some path which you can adopt for getting definitely a good job as a fresher. So let's start with the bitter truths of civil engineering. See, there is an article from India Today News which reads over 80% of Indian engineers are unemployable and what is the reason for that? They lack new age technology skills means they don't even know the latest skills and technologies coming in the industry and they are just following their old syllabus. There is another article from the famous newspaper The Hindu which states that over 80% engineers are unemployable. Then there is another article from Economic Times which states that civil engineering has registered the lowest placement rate of about only 38% in between 2013-12-13 and 15-16. And the same newspaper had published another article saying that 94% of engineering graduates are not even fit for hiring. See why I am showing you this because every article is focusing that that is that it is student who is lacking the skills which are required for the job. It's not like that industry doesn't have jobs. If you have a good skills or if you are a deserving candidate then even recession should not stop you from getting a good job. Because there is one good news also from India today that by 2022, the construction industry will become India's largest employer. But it also says India needs skilled engineers. And the competition is also very huge. See this, another article. It says India produces 1.5 million engineers every year and most of them are unemployed. Then there is one more news which states that Unemployment among the women engineers in India is five times that of men. And because of such great competition and high rate of unemployment, many students are doing whatever job they get. See this. Thousands of engineers and MBAs apply for the 14 sweeper jobs in Tamil Nadu. And there is another article which says, 9 M fields and 253 postgraduate apply for the coolie job in Maharashtra. And this is very sorry state of affair. So my question is, where exactly are you lacking? <coughs> the first thing that you have knowledge, but the industry wants skill too. Means if you, if you are good in knowledge, but you don't have skills to apply it, then there is no use. So they don't want a candidate who just has mug up the syllabus and he doesn't, doesn't even know the basics or basic applications of it. The next thing is that you are not learning anything new and you are just following the outdated syllabus. There are various online resources available from, from which you can learn the new things and practice them. And even you are, you are not alone that can be blamed completely for this. Even your course material does not show or reflect any modern practices. For example, 
Nowadays, for big projects, industry people are using total station for surveying. But in your college, you are doing surveys using dumpy level or even plain table survey. Now tell me, I mean who on earth now uses a plain table survey these days? Then there is another big problem. You don't master the civil engineering softwares such as AutoCAD, STAD Pro, ETAPS or even Microsoft Excel which is a very must. And even if you learn those softwares from any classes, you just lack practical approach in using these softwares. You just learn it and don't apply it. And the last and the worst problem is that you don't even know the basics of civil engineering. Now this point I will focus particularly. Let me explain you this more clearly. In the next slide, what I will do, I will show you a photo and I will ask you some questions. You have to check how much you know and this will help you in self analysis and you will know where exactly you are lacking. So let's start. Now tell me which beam is this and what are the formulas for calculation of shear force and bending moment. I will wait for some time. Now many of you will say that it's so simple. It is a simply supported beam with central point load and the bending moment can be calculated by the formula WL by 4 and shear force can be calculated by the formula W by 2 that is weighed by 2. That's good. But my real question is give me a practical example of this beam. That is where do you see a simply supported beam with central point load in the practical approach. Now what did you think? Many of you will start to think on that and some of you even may know this answer but that's very good but some of you even don't know what is the practical example of a simply supported beam with center point load and forget about that some of you even may don't know that how much 300 kilo Newton is in kilogram see what I am trying to show you here is that you should compare your syllabus points with the practical approach. You have your knowledge that shear force is this, this, bending moment is this, this. But what you lack, you lack practical approach from that point of view. And you should always ask yourself where the topic is, where this topic, this particular topic is gonna help me in the future practices. So let's move to the next slide again. Now tell me, what is this? You will say that this is a column with 4 bars of 12 mm diameter. Now my co real question is how much kilogram of steel or how much tons of steel I should order to construct this column. Try to solve this manually. I will not wait for this. Check whether you can do it or not. Again many of you you may know that the answer is this this I will require this this kg of steel that is well and good. But if you don't know this answer, then you should think on this. So you understood what I'm trying to tell you is that you should have a practical approach in studying every topic. But don't worry, you don't need to master in all the subjects you are studying. In the next slide, what I will do, I will tell you what various career options you have and what particular skill set is required for that particular field. And see, in this video, I am only covering the private job sector requirements. If you want a separate video on how to crack any competitive civil engineering exam, then comment me in the comment section. So the first field you can make a career in is the structural engineer or structural designer. And what skill sets do you need for that? You should have a very clear concepts of subjects like theory of structures, especially shear force, bending moment concepts, then mechanics of structures, then design of RCC structures. You should know what are the various IS code criteria for the design, various IS codes such as IS456, IS875, IS1893 and etc. Then you should be good in using softwares like STAD Pro, STAD Foundation, ETAPS, SAFE and Microsoft Excel is must and it is better if you are also good in using AutoCAD. So the next field you can choose is Quantity Surveying Engineer. For that 
you should possess a good knowledge of estimating and costing rate analysis budgeting cash flow you must also know how to prepare bill of quantities bar bending schedule calculations and for qs engineer also it is must that you should be very good at handling the microsoft excel and you should also be good in autocad and there are there is one software available for estimation there are many softwares but i will tell one name quantity takeoff you can learn that software also for the estimation purposes then the next field you can do is site engineer if you want to have a clear concepts then in my opinion you should go for site engineer first even if you want to make a career as a structural engineer in my opinion first you should at least work for one year as a site engineer then what you will do you will learn lot of things from there for site engineer you should have a good knowledge of concrete technology subject surveying then you should be good in reading the drawings you should be good in using surveying instruments you should know which tests are performed on different construction materials and it is must that you should know the concrete mix design also the next career option is steel designer if you have interest in steel structures then you can go for steel designer this is also a very good field to make a career in and the competition is also very less but you should have in depth knowledge of design of steel structures theory of structures with is code such as is 800 is 875 is 1893 etc and there are various softwares you can learn such as tecla designer stad pro sap midas steel designer and even you can make a career as a steel detailer what is steel detailer this is nothing but the detailing or drafting of drafting work of steel structures the softwares which are used for this are sds by 2 advanced steel by autodesk tecla structures pro steel by bentley and you should also know the is codes same which are required for the steel designer the next career option a civil engineer has is the planning engineer or 3d visualization work for that you should be good in building bylaws given by the is standards then autocad is very must for this field and specially for 3d work you should learn software like 3ds max google sketchup vray revit architecture etc then there is one more option you have bim engineer that is building information and modeling so the requirements for that is the same which are required for the planning engineer but also in that addition you should be good in autocad revit software and there is one more software for that that is navis work you can search on the google then there is another field you can work as a project manager see working as a project manager is a good responsibility a whole project is under your supervision only so you have a very good knowledge or you should be very good in all aspects you must have a site experience design experience then you should have a good knowledge of construction project project planning the software you can learn for becoming the project manager are primavera software procore software builder trend software then you must be also very good in mx excel and it will be better if you have a knowledge of quantity surveying also the last field that you can have a career in is the geotechnical engineer you must be very good in soil mechanics subject you should also know all the tests perform on the various soils various rocks you should know how to do subsoil exploration and geotechnical investigations so these are some of the famous fields in civil engineering you can make career in there are various option also available but i have not covered there i have covered some of the main or some of the core fields here in the <coughs> now the next question arrives here is what you should do so what you should do first decide the field you want to go in in which field you want to f- you are you have more interest in which field you want to go then learn only those relevant skills which are required for that particular field then be a master in using the softwares but more in a practical way or practical approach should be there now 
ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಒನ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದು ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಎ ಇಯರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಎನಿ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಎನಿ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿ ಟೆಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆನ್ಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ರೀ ವರ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫಾರ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡು ವರ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ದೇರ್ when ever you get time in holidays or whenever you get time as a part time in the evening once you join any consultancy what you will do you will try to slowly learn new things and you will always be ahead of your batchmates and try to visit construction sites also have a mentor or teacher and follow him properly try to learn new things be in touch with it you may learn new things online there are plenty of resources available nowadays and the last thing and very important one always look at your syllabus topics from practical point of view compare that point with the practical examples when you start following these things you will change yourself you will see change in you and you will always be ahead of the competition so this is it for the day hope you liked my video please subscribe to unite coaching for more such videos share this video with your friends and if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section below thank you very much